basket, continue to basket, chicken gyozas, wok fried greens, grilled chicken, yes, chilli, uh -huh. standard delivery. Fuck it, let's just get premium delivery. It's Friday, treat yourself! Ordered! Woo! Hello chicken nuggets and welcome to a new video. I've just ordered a Wagamama's. Um, I'm currently, and have been doing, this is my bit, well, I, well, I was going to say I'm dolled up, I'm not, I'm, I have joggies on the bottom which have stains all over them, but I did have this on earlier and my hair was looking a bit cuter earlier. We actually went to Glen Eagles today, Glen Eagles, I've never been there before. I have been for the past couple of hours, emptying my full kitchen, this kitchen is going woo! Honestly, I, I honestly hate to sound like a materialistic brat, but I hate this kitchen and no offence to anyone who likes it. Look, that is what is great about the human being species. We all like different things, different things float or boat, float or go. That's what makes us unique and wonderful and you are great just the way you are. So if you like my kitchen, good for you, but I fucking hate it. The time has come for it to get ripped out and me get meganified. That is happening literally next week. Uh, sorry, this looks weird tucked behind my ear but it's also just comfier. Um, so the tiles, like all the wall tiles that are currently here, like these white ones, they're going to get ripped out over the weekend and then on Monday the actual kitchen gets ripped out and then they'll start installing the new one. So that is all going to happen Monday through to, I don't know, maybe Wednesday or Thursday. Then my floor tiles will be delivered. Look, I have a wee sample of them on the ground. Woo, aren't they cute? So I know what you're thinking. Megan, wow, quite neutral for you. I know there is like more designs in that. So I think there might be some more like wee colours in there. But it's all going to tie in with the kitchen. Um, the floor tiles should come next week so they can get laid next week but my wall tiles could take like a month so I might not have any walls as such for a month so it's not going to be like a quick process but hey Rome was not built in a day good things take time good things come to those who wait what's the delivery giving it? why would I accept your order? Woo! it will all be absolutely worth it in due course I'm emptying everything I have done all of that section and below next i just need to put away like pans and plates and stuff my fridge next week i'm not complaining i just that is what needs to be done my fridge is going to be in my living room next week and i am very grateful to be absolutely mobbed with work right now so i don't know how the france i'm going to film anything next week when my flat is literally upside down and my fridge is next to my tv oh, maybe i've done <coughs> <coughs> I've had this viral infection for almost two weeks now. Almost two weeks. Fuck off. Anyway, this video isn't about me stripping my kitchen, but I'm waiting on my wagamamas and then we're. Hey, I'll look around this. Waiting on my mag. Ma <laughs> waiting on my wagamamas and then we'll do a mukbang cuny. Oh, a lot to catch up on. A lot to catch up on so I put up a wee question box on my Instagram story asking you guys to ask questions and I'm going to answer them. It's been a hot minute since we've had the catch up so it's definitely overdue. Um, so yes I will check in when Wagamamas is here and in the meantime I'm going to continue emptying my kitchen. Yay! Wagas has arrived! Is this bright enough? Yeah, surely. Oh I've retrieved a spoon which is now located Maybe my views up a little bit. My spoons are now located next to my couch. And also look, I've got my chopsticks. When I moved in, the girls got me a box of chopsticks as part of my moving in gift. Oh my God. So I've got gyozas, wok fried greens. Oh, this, all right. So this is different to the normal. Oh, they gave, they've gave me chopsticks. Little do they know I have my own chopsticks, but I do. I like those spoons for the ramen, but that's, it's like styrofoam. Um, and then I've got my, oh, so chili chicken ramen must have been sold out. That's upsetting. Oh, hey ho. 
I'm sure it'll be gorgeous nonetheless. <gasps> I got the wrong noodles. I'm having a nightmare. I got this little chilli sambal paste. So, let's see. Crazy. Okay, why not? Okay, okay. Mukbang time. I got one of these. I'm not sticking to my table. Give me sucky things. Ooh, that sounded weird. Right, I must go and retrieve the question box. I posted that donkeys ago. People think I'm not bothering my arse to film this video. Right, let's see. I just love food. Like, I just really love food so, so much. Mm. No rhyme, no reason, just answering whatever, whatever, whatever. Someone said, what was your most recent sidekick reading? So, I won't tell too much about it because I feel like it has not been long enough. Like, I feel like X amount of time used to pass first, like say it was a year ago. I'm having a nightmare, I might need, I might need to use a fork. I'm embarrassed, but I might need to use a fork. Say it was like a year ago, I'd be more than happy to spill the beans. But I'll tell you the wildest story ever. I think I did actually say this in the Mallorca vlog, but I didn't explain it that well, right? So basically the sidekick, this will go cold because I can't stop talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, basically the sidekick had said something to me like, I'm seeing the number three in red. Like she was like, it's as if it's been drawn in red like lots of times, does that mean anything to you? And obviously behind, not obviously, sorry, let me rephrase that, it's not obvious that behind my ear, somewhere here, I have free, free, free tattooed on my neck. But she just wouldn't have seen that. We're sitting across from each other, my hair's covering it. Like, that just wouldn't have been obvious. And also, this psychic was so good. Like, she's not here to cheat the system, right? I can just actually vouch for that. So I was like, well, yeah, that does mean something to me. I have this tattoo. And she was like, right, so you are clearly quite in tune with the angels. And I was like, I mean, I don't know, am I? And then she was like, you're actually in there you you you're really lucky you have Archangel Michael looking over you and I was like who in the France is Archangel Michael sorry this hair is so good um so I'm like babe you've lost me I don't know who Archangel Michael is and she was like he will present this is so fucking weird she was like he will present himself to you and no it's so fucking weird I can't even explain she said I'm seeing it now this could not be more true she was like I'm seeing like some difficult times coming up for you like in the near future but like don't panic like you will be okay and Archangel Michael will look over you and protect you and at the time I was like great that's not exactly what I want to hear I already kind of knew what I'll get into soon but I didn't foresee some of the shit that has happened uh, in due course and she was like he will present himself to you though and like he will be protecting you like when you need him most so then I'm in Palma and I'm walking with the girls and for some reason I can't describe it other than like some sort of pull, like something, someone, some spirit. I know you're going to think I've lost the plot, right? But something pulled me to this statue. Do I look like someone who appreciates statues? I'm not someone who appreci appreciates statues. The Statue of Liberty, stunning. Eiffel Tower, stunning, is that, no that's a tower, that's not a statue, things like that, I appreciate it, but just your, your average statue, can't say I, I'm interested, right, but something pulled me towards this statue, and it was behind like a big metal gate, so it appeared in between the metal gates, and it said like, Saint Archangel Michael, it was fucking Archangel Michael, mental, Maybe he is somewhat protecting me. Really bad, she was right. Very hard times have been shunned upon me in the recent month or so, but maybe he has been there to keep me afloat. So, cheers, Mike. So definitely the most asked question of them all, and I will waste no time, um, is people saying, are you single? Why are you single? Yeah, 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 yes, I'm single. I am a single lady, as Beyonce would sing. Um, I've been single for a wee while now, so I'm definitely at a point where I can, you know, yeah, I'm single, that's right, I'll just need to own that now. Why I'm single, look, as much as I love to share every last detail of my life online, and I, I feel like, 
I know it's a bit like embarrassing to say, but I feel like that is kind of my purpose online. Maybe it's not, maybe I'm just chatting some nonsense here, but I do feel like that is why I do this job because I like to, fuck this, I'm using the fork. Because I do just like to share so much. Like I just see you guys as my internet besties, to be honest. So why wouldn't I tell my besties every detail of my life? But I suppose that's not the respectful, respectable thing to do um, in this situation. But nothing like terrible happened. It wasn't like a toxic like <gasps> breakup. It was just it was just a breakup. As far as breakups go, it's on the nicer scale of breakups, I suppose. Um, yeah, I am a firm believer in everything happens for a reason and what's for you won't go by you. So I am trusting that this is for the best. I must be on the right path. Someone said season three of the agency unfiltered. Honestly, not that I'm aware of. I honestly don't have much like insight to it at all, which I think would probably surprise people, but if it is happening, I certainly don't know about it or I'm not in it, maybe. Um, <coughs> but we'll see. What is your favourite breakfast to have? I have been having protein yogurt. I'm trying to eat more protein these days, guys, because, you know, God just didn't gift me with a bum. I'm flat as a pancake back there. And I want to have a wee bubble butt. So I've really been trying to eat a bit more protein. So in the mornings, I have a protein yogurt. It's from Widow. It's like 80 pence or something. Protein yogurt, honey, granola, strawberries or raspberries or blueberries, any fruit of your choice. Um, and some like seeds on top of it, stunning. Like it's honestly just like a sweet tooth dream, but gains, so probably that to be honest. Mm. Unpopular opinion, but I don't really like like breakfast food, like see like eggs and stuff, nah, take it or leave it, not that bothered. Oh, someone said, not a question, I'm sure you'll get plenty. Just wanted to say I love the pod and listen every week. Thanks guys. It really does mean the world to anyone who listens to my podcast. I feel like that is my most like raw, like um, vulnerable platform probably. So I really appreciate anyone who checks in over there. But you know what? Who also appreciate you, my wee chicken nugget. Someone also said, are you still going to Philadelphia and New York? No. I would be there right now if I was still going. Um, for obvious reasons, I am still in Glasgow. Holiday plans. Um, I'm actually going to Ibiza next Thursday. Today's Friday, so less than a week. Nothing will be open because it is like mid-April. Well, I don't know if things will be open, but not, it's not like peak season yet. Oh, it's not peak season, so I'm not really expecting things to be open. I'm definitely going for work purposes. I have lots and lots of jobs to film that require not the piss and rain that Glasgow has to offer. So me and Abigail are going for three nights. We're staying in Paradiso. I love that hotel so much. I love Ibiza so much. It is the motherland to me. So I'm so excited to get there next week. Then I come home and actually two weeks later, I go again with my friends. Dominique, who you know is my bestie and my other boy friends, not, <laughs> not boy friends, boy pals, shall we say. 7-8 sound system, Dominique and 7-8 sound system are all DJing in Eden in Ibiza. Eden is literally one of the super clubs in Ibiza, in San Antonio. That is mental, mental, mental stuff. So a huge group of us are going over to see them and just make a holiday of it. So I'm absolutely buzzing for that. In June, I'm going to Barcelona because guess who's DJing again? Dominique. So me and the girls are going to Barcelona, which I'm so excited about. I've never been to Barcelona. I always wanted to go. It's a bit of beach, bit of city. Does it all up in Barca. And then the other holiday I have planned as of yet is Thailand. I'm going to Thailand. <coughs> I'm going to Thailand. That is like honestly so out there for me. I've never been that far away from home, having to get two planes there, two long haul flights, like I am going far, Mrs. Worldwide, off to Thailand for like 17 days. 17 days, honestly, I'm gonna throw myself a leaving party, I'll be gone that long. Hope things are still the same when I get back. 
and we're gonna like travel around. This is honestly something I have never ever done before. It is slightly out of my comfort zone because I am like such a creature of habit. However, it is time for me to get out and open my eyes to the world around us. I'm really excited to just throw myself in, experience totally new way of life, try new food, meet new people. I, honestly, I think this is a huge personal development sleigh from me. So Thailand, we're going the very end of August. And also how nice, I'm going with Nadine and Ailey and then we're meeting Star, who is one of my really good friends who moved to Australia almost. Has that almost been two years she moved? The fuck? Time moved so fast. She moved like two years ago. Not seen her since, obviously. So we're going to meet her in Thailand. Is that not just the most wholesome thing ever? So bring it on. But guys, it is a hot girl summer for me. So whenever I get a chance to leave the country, I'm going. How's Tina? Tina's great. Tina's my new car. So I got a new car like two, two, two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Love her so much. She's a wee Audi TT. So I had an Audi Q2 before and now I have the TT. The Q2 is like a higher car, I suppose. Obviously a wee bit bigger car. TT is very low to the ground. She's very small. Good luck to anyone who ever has to sit in the back. Like they should not qualify as back seats. I tried sitting in the back and I can't even sit up straight. I'd have to sit like that. So, yikes to anyone in there. I'll need to give them um, my chiropractor's number after riding in Tina. But I love her. I love her so much. Like, I was doing a new car because I always PCP my car. So it was kind of getting time to swap it anyway. That was the first car I ever went to see or even looked at online, to be honest. But I just seen her and thought, she's a belter, to be honest. And since getting her, I love driving it, it's so fun, she's quite fast and I just, I love it so much. I never really like care for cars ever but I love Tina so much, definitely my favourite car I've ever had and I treasure her. Biggest life motto you live by, oh there's loads but probably take the risk or lose the chance. That's a belter. Someone said how to get over a breakup. I'm actually going to do next week's podcast episode on that. Not how to get over it. Because that will take much longer than it has been. But I'm going to do like dealing with breakup. Something along those lines. So tune in to the podcast next week. How are you in general? Um, Look. I have certainly been better. That is for... <coughs> absolutely sure um march march i have never in my life been so happy to see the back of a month ever the breakup obviously dealt with that the full of march would you believe me if i said the breakup wasn't even the worst part like how does it actually get much worse but it fucking did but I am here, definitely starting to feel a lot better. Life goes on and you know what? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, as Kelly Clarkson once said. Um, someone said, not a question, but hope you're doing okay. Send in love and I love the podcast with your mum. Thank you so much. Me too. My mum's an absolute natural, to be honest. Someone asked, will there be any more rollercoaster lives? I've not been able to make one yet. I don't know. Are you enjoying single life? Hashtag hot girl summer. Hashtag hot girl summer indeed. Mmm. I'm saying nothing. Um, am I enjoying single life? I mean, yeah. Like, I didn't set out to be single. Like, I'm not single because I wanted to be single. Like, I'm not like, yeah, single. Boys, boys, boys. Hot girl summer, hot girl summer. Like, that is definitely not the mindset I'm in and have ever been in to be honest I am a relationship type of person evidently because I have spent the last 10 years of my life in relationships just to wind up single but hey ho but I'm here now and I certainly don't dislike being single I've not been single obviously that long it's a Friday night I'm having my wagamamas for one I'm just chilling in the flat well I mean chilling if cleaning your kitchen couch just chilling I suppose but I'm gonna sit and watch something on the TV and I'm honestly fine like I'm so fine with that it doesn't faze me one bit that I'm sitting here myself and I'm not like crying my eyes out like obviously I'm very sad a breakup took place like that is heartbreaking 
but it took place and I'm healing from it, I suppose. And yeah, when single's fine. I don't need no man. How do you find the motivation to work out and enjoy it? Any tips? You honestly just need to find something you enjoy. Like, don't force yourself to enjoy something. Like, if you don't enjoy going and lifting weights, it's hard to force yourself to enjoy that. Like, I don't particularly enjoy that, so I don't really ever do it. I did go to the gym the other day and done, like, a weight session because, as I said, trying to grow the, grow the old bubble butt. Um, but I could only do that, like, once a week. Like, I'm not going to make myself go and do that every day because I just wouldn't enjoy it. But, for example, with that, I suppose, because I don't actually go in and enjoy doing that, I'm not there, like, yippee! Like, see, when I go to, like, my classes at Revolution, I'm like, yippee! Like, I love being there so much. Like, I, and every minute, although it's so hard, I am like, this is fun! Like, I love this! Don't think that about going to the gym and lifting weights, but how I can motivate myself to, motivate myself to go and try and enjoy it more is getting on a good playlist. Make a good playlist that's gonna get you pumped up. Um, that's all I've got. <laughs> Definitely try and find something you enjoy. That might take a while. It took me absolutely years and years and years and years to find something I enjoy at the gym. But dip your toe in everything, try it all out. See, does this work for me? No. Try a yoga class, try a flex class, try a spin class, a high rocks class, Whatever it may be, swimming, I don't know, archery, try, ooh, can't tell my voice here. Uh, oh my god! <sighs> I was choking on that chicken and I have never considered what I would do if I was choking because I live alone. Who the hell would help? That was fucking terrifying. Oh. Honestly, pretty much all of these are asking about me being single. So I've already answered that. And we'll finish up on, are you living your best life? I haven't been recently, but I'm definitely going to. That's for shizzles. And before I go, I just want to say thanks so much, everyone. Everyone who watches my videos, listens to my podcast, likes my pictures, likes my TikToks. Love you all so much, particularly and even even more so in times like this. Like people have been sending me really nice DMs, like just checking in on me, making sure I'm okay. It goes a very long way. It's so appreciated. Even if I've not replied to it yet, I will do my best to reply to it. And just know it means the absolute world. These are just complete cuties going out your way to message me. How like genuinely how bloody lucky am I? that I get to receive stuff like that and get the support from you guys that you give. It's so beyond appreciated. I love you all so, 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 so much. Forever and ever and ever and ever. And I'll see you in the next video.